Hey guys, Justin here with another pickups video, and most of the stuff in this video comes from our local thrift stores, but I did get a few things from our local buy, sell, and trade shop, and actually received a couple packages uh, from some YouTubers with some stuff that I definitely wanted to show in a video. So I'm going to start out with some of the thrift store stuff first. Now the way my class schedule works out this semester is absolutely perfect for hitting up the thrift stores, because I only have one class a day, Monday through Thursday, and it doesn't start until 1 p.m. And I have some online classes and stuff too, but basically what I've been doing is just waking up a little earlier each day and going to the thrift stores before I go to class. And so earlier in the week I found a few um, semi-video game related items, and so I'll show those quickly here. I got one of these Miss Pac-Man plug and plays, and you guys see me pick these up all the time from the thrift stores and garage sales and whatnot. And uh, most of the time you can get them for under $3, and usually they're a, uh, a quick... $15 on eBay so the way I see it you know if I can make myself a quick $10 to buy myself a game for the collection why not right so I picked this up for $2.99 I also grabbed one of these uh, Radica big screen Tetris games uh, this one's actually pretty beat up the buttons have a, um, some significant wear on the screen has a few scratches but it was only $1.99 I think I can probably get $10 for this on eBay so <laughs> buy myself another game with that and then I also picked up one of these Radica solitaire light games uh, now this particular model isn't as valuable as some of the other uh, Radica Solitaire games, and this one's actually pretty beat up, but again, I, I tested it, all the buttons work and everything, and it was only $1.99. I should get $10 or $12 for this on eBay, so <laughs> buy myself something nice with that. So anyway, um, a few weeks ago, I had purchased a big lot of uh, video games off a buddy of mine, and I ended up with a few PS3 games and a couple uh, Xbox 360 games that... I really didn't want, I really had nothing to do with them, none of them were really worth selling on eBay or anything. I think the best one I had was probably a GTA 4 for the PS3, but even still, that's like a 10 or $12 game. It was missing the manual, the disc was pretty scratched up. So what I decided to do was take those into our local buy, sell, and trade shop and see what I could get for them. Um, the guy there had a couple of games in his glass case that I'd kind of been eyeing up for a while now, and we actually ended up working out just a straight deal. I gave him my five, game, five games, he gave me these uh, two games here. So. Uh, the first one I got is Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo, um, obviously for the N64 here. And I think with this addition to my collection, I now have all of the uh, Star Wars games that came out for the N64. So that was a cool pickup there. And I also got, uh, for the Super Nintendo, the Ren and Stimpy Show Vidiots, I think is how I would pronounce it <laughs> anyway. Now, I think they made uh, four different Ren and Stimpy games for the Super Nintendo. Um, there's this one, which I now obviously own. I also have the Ren and Snippy Show Time Warp Complete in Box, and uh, the Ren and Snippy Show Buckaroos in Box, and that Buckaroos game is actually pretty hard to find. That was a Blockbuster exclusive game. Uh, but I believe they also made the Ren and Snippy Show Fire Dogs for the Super Nintendo, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think that one might have been a rental exclusive as well, but that one, for some reason, isn't worth nearly as much as the Buckaroos game. I think Fire Dogs is like a $10 or $12 game, so I'm going to be looking out for that one to complete my uh, Ren and Snippy Show collection on the Super Nintendo. Now, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I had picked up some Dreamcast games from this local buy, sell, and trade shop. That's where I got like the Jet Grind radio and stuff, and when he bought those games, they came with a system, uh, but he was telling me that he couldn't get the system to work. Uh, at first he told me that it had a dead disk drive, the disk wouldn't spin, then he told me that it, it wouldn't read disks, so he actually just went ahead and uh, gave me the system. He said maybe I could you know, mess around with it and, uh, and get it to work, and he also gave me the, both adapters for it. He uh, kept the controllers to sell separately. But the funny thing was, I, uh, I took this system home and I tested it out, and it worked perfectly fine. And I must have tried probably six or eight different discs in it. I picked my most scratched up Dreamcast disc, uh, just as a worst case scenario, and it played perfectly fine <laughs> in this system. So I don't exactly know wh why he just assumed it, it didn't work, or maybe he, he couldn't get it to work. I don't, I don't know, but um, I think I'm probably just going to go give this back to him now. I mean, obviously I could throw it up on eBay and get myself you know, $30, $35 for it if I paired a controller with it, but uh, I'm probably just going to bring it back to him, and maybe he can uh, <laughs> make his money off of it, seeing as it, it does work perfectly fine. Uh, but anyway, though, a little later in the week, I was at I went to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store, and they had put out uh, a few new things. Um, they had some new original Xbox games that they had put out. I went ahead and picked up two of them here. Uh, I got Halo 2, and then I also got the uh, the first Fable game here. Now, unfortunately, I think both of these are missing the manuals, but uh, the discs are in great condition, and they were only like I think two dollars and forty four cents a piece. 
Uh, they did have some other games there that I passed on, a couple of GTA games, and they actually had some Splinter Cell games, which for some reason were marked for like $5 a piece. I don't know why the Splinter Cell games were more. But anyway, I grabbed those, I walked over to the electronics session, and again, for like probably the seventh video in a row now, um, I found myself an N64. Um, this is just the console only, um, no expansion pack, it's just got a jumper pack in there. But it was only marked for a four dollars and thirty four cents I think that says uh, normally this St. Vincent de Paul overprices systems like this but for under five dollars I was like you know can't go wrong it's in good shape and I'll be able to uh, complete it with some cords and a controller that I have um, but the coolest things I found that day were definitely uh, these I got a pair of uh, Justifier light guns for the Sega Genesis and you know, it was definitely cool to see the pair of them um, and even though they clearly come as a pair uh, the thrift store decided to price them separately, uh, but even still, they're o they're only a dollar and twenty five cents a piece. So you know, two fifty for the pair. I figured I couldn't go wrong there. Now I do have the uh, Lethal Enforcers box set for the Sega CD, which I believe comes with um, this Justifier, the blue one, if I remember correctly. I haven't <laughs> opened that box in a while now. Um, but then they made this one too, and I, I don't exactly know why they made it pink. I never really figured that out. But <laughs> basically, what you do is you plug this blue one into the first player controller on the on the Genesis system and then you link this pink one to the bottom of the blue one via this like phone cord here <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how that works but um, I'll have to to try these out uh, anyway though uh, later in the week I was up at the Goodwill with my cousin and for the first time in probably five or six months now I found some NES games at the Goodwill and it's nothing great but um, I got four of them here I got Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, Tetris in a sleeve here, got RC Pro-Am also in a sleeve, and finally I got Yoshi. So it was, finally, it was refreshing to finally see some uh, NES games at the Goodwill once again. They also had uh, one loose cartridge Genesis game that I just decided to, to pick up. Uh, it's called Two Crew Dudes. I have absolutely no idea what this game was. Um, I'd never heard of it before though, so I decided to take a shot on it. I picked that one up. And I looked down and noticed that they also had a few uh, Game Boy Advance games. And so I, I went ahead and picked those up as well. I picked up all the ones that they had. Um, they're all in these like sandwich bags here, so hopefully I can show them still. Uh, we got Shrek Recon Havoc. Uh, we got actually, I think, two copies of uh, Finding Nemo. I got uh, The Sims Busting Out. And then finally, uh, the best one here was Pokemon Fire Red version. I honestly, I don't think I've ever found a Pokemon Game Boy game at uh, at my local Goodwill. I don't know if that's because people hang on to them or what, but they, you know they're definitely very common games. I, I you know for all, I found Game Boy games before, but never Pokemon games. So that was cool to see that. I haven't tested it yet to see if the save battery works, but if it doesn't, I have a battery I can replace it with. So I had all those, um, and I was about to walk away. And my cousin was like, hey, there's a, there's a Wii game up there. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, it's uh, EA Sports Active Personal Trainer. And um, I, 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 I'd never seen this before, but it's kind of like a box set here. Um, so, I mean, it comes with the, uh, the game here, which is complete inside of here. Pretty much brand new game. And then it also comes with like these, like, I don't know what these are, like knee pads or some kind of stretchy band things. There's like this... Uh, this thing here for like some kind of <laughs> workout. Um, anyway, so I looked this up on my phone really quickly and saw that you know people were selling just the game for about ten bucks, and uh, this whole box set it just had one of these generic stickers on it, so it was just basically priced the same um, as just a normal like Wii game or something. So it was three ninety nine, um, and I figured well might as well pick it up and see what I can do with it anyway. Um, but I got up to the uh, the cash register with the rest of these these NES games and these Game Boy games, and I noticed that the uh, the cute Goodwill girl was in fact the cashier and so I asked her you know how much the games were she told me 79 cents a piece um, and I was like yes um, I've gotten them as low as actually 25 cents a piece from her before but for 79 cents a piece I'm not gonna complain with that price that's more than fair for any of these games so I went ahead and picked all those up for that price um, so it was like I think probably twelve dollars or fourteen dollars with with the addition of this as well um, Anyway, though, I think that's all the stuff that I found out in the wild, uh, at least that I had to show for this video. But like I said, I, I did get a couple packages from some YouTubers with some stuff that's actually pretty cool. Um, this first one I'm going to show here is actually something I purchased 
from another YouTuber uh, by the name of S.E. Anime Forever, I think is how you would pronounce it. Um, I'm not going to say how much I paid for this, but trust me, he gave me a very, very good deal on this. And it's something I've been looking for for a while now. Very happy to have it. Um, it's Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete for the, uh, the PlayStation 1. So he, he let me know that he had this. He uh, went ahead and made a video showing me the condition of like the box and stuff. And this outer box here, is, it's got some wear on it. A couple of the corners have some rips on it and stuff. But um, the main reason I wanted this is because some of the stuff that, that came in here, some of the, like, the extras, the uh, bonus stuff that Working Designs threw in here, is actually still sealed. I've already taken everything out of this box so I can uh, show it quicker here. But basically we got the soundtrack here. And then it also has a spot for the, uh, the Lunar 2 demo CD that was included as part of... Um, what is it, the, the Vanguard Bandits uh, game. So I'll have to track down that demo disc. Um, but it was awesome, you know, they, there's working designs for you, you know, leaving space for a demo disc that came with a different game. Um, <laughs> so if that says anything about the quality that working design puts out right there. But anyway, and then I got the, uh, the game here itself, which I believe is uh, three discs. And there's also a um, bonus, like, making of Lunar 2 disc in there which is awesome. And then here's the manual here. I mean, check out this manual. Um, just, you know, hardcover manual, um, you know, full color, absolutely beautiful manual here. I mean, this thing doesn't even feel like it's ever been opened. Um, I don't know where he got this game from, but it's in awesome condition. And then finally, the, the coolest part about this and the main reason I wanted this is, is for this, this little box here that comes with some of the extras that were included in this set. So we got the, the map for the game over here. And then in this side over here, um, we have these. Um, now I don't exactly know what these are. They're they're name cards of some kind. I'm assuming they're just for you know some of the the main characters in the game. But this package is actually still uh, sealed here. It's never been opened, which is awesome. And then it also comes with in this uh, little cloth bag here this uh, this pendant, this metal pendant that came with the game. Now. I can't really show it because it's wrapped in this paper and I'm not sure if it came wrapped in this paper or if he just did that for you know shipping purposes but um, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to wait till I hear back from him on that before I go ahead and uh, take the paper off of this but it was awesome that this is you know still potentially brand new as well and uh, I believe that was everything that, that came in this box here and like I said he gave me a excellent excellent deal on this and everyone should go check out his channel I'll put his link down in the description I'm not sure if he does a whole lot of pickup videos like I do but if you're into this you know PlayStation kind of like anime stuff um, he's definitely got a sweet channel so definitely go and, and check that out uh, but moving on though to the last thing I want to show in this video is a trade I did with another youtuber uh, for a game that I've been looking for for quite some time now. I'll just go ahead and show it. It's uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. And uh, this one is complete and in pretty nice condition. Now I do have the one, uh, the, the copy, a copy of this for the Wii as well, which I've just basically held on to. I don't really collect for the Wii, but you know, I think the Wii version is only like a, a $10 game or something like that. I just, I couldn't see myself selling a Zelda game for, for 10 bucks. So I actually have the strategy guide for it too, but if anyone's interested in my, uh, Twilight Princess for the Wii and potentially my, my strategy guide, let me know. Um, it is up for trade. I'd much rather play through this one. And actually, he threw a couple extras into my package, and these were actually very generous extras. Um, he, he included a copy of Wave Race 64, and he also threw in a copy of uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time for the N64. Obviously, a <laughs> very, very generous extra here. Um, I just sent out his package today, so hopefully by the time this video gets uploaded, you know, he already has his package and everything. I did include a couple extras in your package, dude, um, that hopefully you can you know, somewhat make up for, uh, for the extras that you threw into mine. So I want to say thank you so much for the, the awesome trade, man. I'm hopefully we'll be doing another trade in the future. Uh, but anyway, I think that was everything that I wanted to show in this video. So, I want to thank everyone for sticking around, checking out the video, and until next time, take care.